So let's just say you moved into a new place and you don't feel like spending a billion dollars on a speaker system all around your freaking house. Well, today I'm going to show you something simple that you can do for way less. The Raspberry Pi speaker. Now in order to get started, we'll need a couple of things. The Raspberry Pi, of course, in which case I have the 2B Plus edition. Any one will do, but I prefer the newest ones since they have more USB ports, faster processing, and this case. The speakers, you can just either go to Walmart or Amazon to buy some cheap ones, or depending on what you're going for, some good surround sound ones. A micro SD card that you can probably find lying around the house or you can buy it cheaply on Amazon. And lastly, you can pick up a cheap Wi-Fi stick, like the one I have, which is a TP-Link. Overall, this entire package will run you at least 50 to 60 bucks, but most likely you'll probably have all the components you'll have in your closet or anywhere else in your home. Now let's get the ball rolling by downloading the software. The Music Box software, which is kind of big, and the disk writer for our SD card. Once downloaded, unzip the Pi Music Box folder somewhere on your desktop. Next, plug in your micro SD card into the computer using the adapter or direct connection methods. Whatever works for your computer to recognize it. Next, install and open the Win32 Disk Imager application, which will be needed to write our musicbox.img file to the micro SD card. Select it and the device path that you want to use. Now click write and give it a minute. There will be a window that'll pop up saying when the writing is complete. So let's set up our Wi-Fi on our new device. Unless you're going to directly connect to your LAN network, you might as well skip this step. Go into your computer and select our SD card. Under the config folder, select settings.ini. Find the network subsection and enter the following information. Your Wi-Fi network name and the password you used to, you know, get on there. After saving the document, we can finally hook it up to our Pi and get some music going. Hook up all the components, your SD card, Wi-Fi adapter, and speakers, and turn on the Pi by plugging it into the power adapter. Give it some time to boot up, like a couple of minutes or so. Once that's down, go to your web browser and type in the following text in the URL. You should be then transferred to the Pi Music Box home screen. If you don't get this screen, make sure your Wi-Fi is on, check if it's connected through your router settings, or double check if you entered the Wi-Fi settings incorrectly in the .ini file. If you are successful, then you can finally mess around with the settings and enter your login details on whatever music services you have. This software is pretty powerful, it has AirPlay, SoundCloud, Spotify, and all sorts of support for many radio stations. But overall, you should be ready to play any music you want. All right, so we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna go over and hit play. Make sure that my uh, thing is selected. All right, so uh, let's go check it out. <sighs> oh yeah, rocking out to some head, some radio head. Hope I don't get sued.